A simple four-letter word quite literally saved my life. And that word was help. For many, many years, I fought battles with my mental health, with depression, and of course, as this channel documents, with addictions, alcoholism and drug addiction. Throughout all those years, I was too ashamed, too proud, too fearful to ask for any help or support. My ego told me that I'd been through dark times before and I was strong enough to get through this on my own. Of course, that was absolutely not the case and things progressed and got worse and worse and worse until I almost lost my life. Men in particular don't like asking for help because they perceive it as a sign of weakness. They want to be the, you know, the pillar of strength in the family, if you like. A man who goes out and holds the family together and, and all of the rest of these things. But of course, they're not, they're not true. We all suffer from mental health addiction issues, particularly in this day and age. Um, the pressures are put upon us by the various crises in the world, cost of living crises, wars, bad news, social media, all of these things, many, many others will push us towards serious mental health issues or can do, and certainly towards addiction. There's no weakness in asking for help. It's probably the the thing that I'm most proud of. It's the, probably the strongest thing that I've ever done because I was dishonest with myself and with everyone else around me for so many years. Too frightened to step out of my comfort zone and, and ask for the help that I needed. In my experience, you often can't get out of that deep hole that you're in, whether it be addiction or mental health, without using that four-letter word please, and saying to somebody, anybody, please help me. Where that help comes from is obviously entirely your choice. You know, I'm bang on, a, on this channel about where it's come from for me, but of course it's massively come from my family. I asked them for help and they gave me amazing support, which I, you know, I'll never forget the support they've given me when they, you know, probably quite rightly could have did totally disowned me for my behaviours and the hurt that I'd put them through. However, they've always stood by me. Now, I'm lucky with that, obviously. And I know many of you watching this won't perhaps be as lucky and won't perhaps be in the situation that I'm in here. You know, and um, I totally understand that. However, there is other help out there. And where you pick... To get that help from is entirely up to you, as I say. As I say, mine's come from AA. And, I, you know, the fellowship has, has saved my life. But that's me, my choice. There's lots of other organisations out there, professionals, um, and all sorts of groups online, talking groups. In my experience, whatever your issue whether it's mental health, as I say, whether it's sort of depression, whether it's anxiety, whether it's addiction, then talking peer to peer is the most beneficial thing that you can do. Because you can pay a fortune for, and I have in the past, this is, paid for psychiatrists, counsellors, all of these, hypnotherapists even, all of these things, you know, Perhaps you can get some benefit out of that. But none of them have walked in your shoes. None of them understand where you're coming from. Only somebody who's been through the same thing as you, the same issues as you, can understand. And talking to those people or person can be absolutely invaluable. On a daily basis, many times a day sometimes in the beginning. It's like a safety valve that you can release these feelings and this tension that builds up inside of you. But also it's a learning tool and you have to be very open-minded. And since I've 
started with my recovery, real recovery journey about this is nearly a year ago now in the rooms. Then I've been open minded and willing and, and learned from every single moment and every single person that I've met in there. And um, it's a complete relearning experience. And it's been essential to, to my recovery from all of this. So please, please don't see asking for help, wherever it comes from, from your family, from professionals, from organisations, from whoever, it doesn't matter. But in my experience, you will not recover from any of those issues until you ask for help. And to all of you struggling out there at the moment, and I know many of you, many of my friends in England at the moment are going through horrendous times with um, cost of living and, the, and, and the, I'm not even going to get into politics because that would make me, <laughs> that wouldn't do my serenity any good at all. But it is horrendous. Uh, and my thoughts are with you and um, stay strong as you can, but talk to somebody. Don't bottle it all up inside of you. Find someone who's going through the same thing and talk to them. I hope that's been of some use for you. Carpe diem. Seize the day today. Much love to you all. Bye bye.